This is the program TV Inform. Сегодня в программе реакция в стране и мире на результаты референдума на Украине. To the referendum in the Ukraine. Today, the Parliament approved a credit of 90 billion rubles. A meeting of the Moscow City Council in Washington, the uh, uh, Near East, uh, by Near Middle East participants are arriving for negotiations, and the Philharmonic from Berlin are touring in Moscow. Today, the Ukrainian referendum has now been concluded. We know not only the future of the few uh, of the present Ukraine and the future Ukraine, but of the Union as a whole. But there's still a lot of questions left. For example, Western observers, more than 60 of them, followed the Ukrainian referendum, which took place on last Sunday. Today, they uh, informed journalists of their impressions. They did not note any violations in the electoral process. The members of the Euro Parliament said they would recommend that the Euro Parliament recognize as quickly as possible the independence of Ukraine. Today in Kiev, the Prime, the Prime Minister, uh, the Minister for Foreign Relations, Anatoly Le uh, Zelenka, gave a press conference. It looks like at this stage we're having a little sample of uh, Russian disorder there. We've temporarily lost our sound. Just hang in there. And I'm sure they'll get it hooked up back in a moment. So that was Mr. Anatoly Zelenka, who was the Minister of Foreign Affairs in the Ukraine, giving a press conference. The Ukraine, of course, has a uh, representative in the UN, always had. There are 27 uh, areas in the regions in, the Ukra in Ukraine which have uh, participated in the vote. Even before the referendum, Leonid Kravchuk repeatedly said the Ukra said Ukraine would not be participating in any future uh, alliances. And although there's no official notice as to the fact that, the, that Ukraine has not par been participating in the negotiations taking place in Nova Agayova. Uh, Gorbachev and Yeltsin have frequently at state council meetings stated they don't conceive the Union Treaty without Ukraine. This will be determined to a large degree by the reaction uh, of other countries. Only Poland thus far has recognized independence. The president of Russia has uh, supported the desires of the Ukrainian people, but has conditions. Ukraine should be non-nuclear and should observe human rights. It's very difficult to predict the economic uh, Ukrainian uh, relations in, in the future. If there's going to be a separate Ukrainian currency, that might force uh, Russia to introduce its own separate Russian currency. There is still a hope, nevertheless, that after Kravchuk's uh, victory is established, he will soften his position with regard to the center. The reaction of Western countries uh, has been quite restrained. The United States will attempt to maintain normal relations with Ukraine and with any other, as with any other country, uh, with a democratic uh, government. He, Bush has stated that he wishes to cooperate with Bush and with and with with Gorbachev and with Yeltsin. Here's Boris Kalyagin, who's our correspondent in Washington. The United States would like Kiev to guarantee the rights of national minorities in the Ukraine, uh, especially uh, the Russians. Uh, is a, uh, the, uh, the uh, Ukraine is supposed to, to observe international agreements, 
uh, with regard to strategic and uh, conventional and nuclear weapons. Uh, um, uh, the United States has expressed a desire that the nuclear weapons, their stations, should be either destroyed or maintained under uh, joint command. These are 200 uh, uh, items here uh, of strategic warfare. Uh, J Tokyo has uh, has not heard and hurried in uh, recognizing Ukraine, but it is going to provide two and a half billion in credit. It was hoped that a uh, uh, that the that the country would would observe its former agreements. Leonid Kravchuk expressed confidence that in the near future, uh, Ukraine would be recognized by many countries in the world. He said that they would cooperating with many countries, and they would establish relations with a number of other countries. Mr. Gorbachev is not intending to undertake any special measures with regard to an independent Ukraine. So that was the results of, U of Ukrainian voting. And now here is the report on the, uh, on the Ukrainian uh, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Ukrainian Minister press conference uh, on uh, foreign affairs. The hall here is a cozy one, but has not been intended for such intense interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Anatoly Zelenka, discussed the basic thrust of Ukrainian activities under conditions of independence. First of all, uh, the country is confirming that it will observe international agreements as an heir to the former USSR. Uh, the uh, Ukrainians are ready to pay their part of the, de of the debt. It will be a nu non-nuclear state. It will not be a member of any military blocs. It will hold to the three nuclear uh, principles, and it will not be stretching out its hand for the nuclear button. It need will have its own uh, armed forces and a Republican Guard. After becoming a full-fledged member of the European process, it will observe all agreements on human rights, uh, and the rights of uh, national minorities are a priority. The spirit of the Helsinki Accords is being observed uh, in, the, in, uh, in the Ukraine, and the, and the country has no pretensions at claiming other, the, country, the land of other areas. All the 12 uh, uh, republics should, in the words of Mr. Gorbachev, uh, attempt to cooperate. I talk to all, I, I address myself here to the leaders of all the separate states which have now been formed. Why am I doing this? First of all, without any exaggeration, the country, our fatherland, is in danger. And the greatest danger is the crisis of statehood. Until we resolve this problem and, and extract ourselves from this crisis, we will not be able to resolve all those tasks which are linked to economic reforms and the situation in the country as a whole and to improve the standard of living of people. We have a disintegration of the state which is being accompanied by a disintegration and the uh, destruction of social uh, bonds between uh, working groups, between the regions. This disintegration must be stopped with our common effort, and this should be done immediately. All alone, no individual republic will be able to extract itself from this difficult situation in which we currently find ourselves. We should be quite clear on that. All of us, no matter where we live, in which republic, uh, live or work, we must realize this. We cannot uh, drag our feet. No political maneuvers are permissible. Time might be catastrophically lost. 
Therefore, I have turned to all authorized representatives of the peoples that they might in the near immediate future discuss the draft of the Union Treaty and approve it. I think that the citizens of the country and of all the republics will display a proper interest, for we are resolving the most important question of our life today and in the future as well, the life of the peoples who inhabit our enormous country. The full uh, press conference will be shown after the news immediately. In Moscow, there opened a meeting of the states of heads of state of the economic uh, uh, conference. There is three days on the agenda of work. Today's meeting uh, is now shown in our next item. Most